Um, we got to quickly talk about Dave Haxdall being the uh, new guy in Seattle. So uh, he was the Leafs defensive coach um, and his name sort of surfaced. And Steve, I think you mentioned it on the last show. You said something along the lines of Dave Haxdall or, or was that our meeting yesterday? Um, Might you have said, been our meeting yesterday. Well, then over lunch, Steve said, well, this is interesting for the Leafs because maybe this opens up an opportunity for Bruce Boudreaux to come back and, and actually coach here. He played here. But the, the, the thing is, Dave Haxtell, defensive coach for the Leafs, former coach of the Philadelphia Flyers, now the head coach of the Kraken. Here's the question. Why? I honestly don't know. Um, I know he was very highly touted coming out of university. Like, I'm not trying to be insulting. No, I mean, they played, the Leafs played good defense this year. Yeah, that's, he, that's why this made me sad. I was like, ah, the defense is the one thing that really, really worked. Right. Well, and from a Leafs perspective, Sheldon Keefe, head coach, bring in Boos Boudreaux. He does the power play. But wait a sec, doesn't Manny Malhotra do the power play? Not anymore. He goes to the penalty kill, which is a thing he actually did as a player. That is what I would like. And he was a specialist. Yes. From a Kraken standpoint, I mean, Manny Malhotra strikes me as exactly the sort of freaking player the Leafs could use. Anyway, um... Dave Haxel. He was very highly touted coming out of university. He went to Philadelphia. Very mixed results. Um, I know Flyers. how Flyers fans feel about him. Um, the one thing I would say there is Philly's got a little bit of Toronto syndrome where, where someone fails there and then everyone assumes they're garbage forever, which I'm not sure is quite the case. Um, he, was, he was a very good assistant. He was a good assistant for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Their defense improved. Um, their penalty killing was... Top 10, mm -hmm. I believe. Mm -hmm. um, it certainly wasn't their downfall at all. Um, different personnel, change up the personnel. Um, didn't really have a full-time center ever <laughs> on the penalty kill uh, throughout his tenure. Kerfoot was the closest thing they ever had to that, which maybe be an alarm bell, and he made it work. Mm -hmm. um, and he didn't even necessarily get uh, all the saves in the world either. So he did really good there. But now he's a head coach, and we've talked about this a bunch of times, like with DJ Smith, for example. It's just not the same. It's mm -hmm. a different thing. And tell you what, there's a guy who was an assistant coach that people weren't 100% sure about in Toronto. He goes to another team. He's an excellent head coach. Who's that? DJ, DJ Smith in, in, in Ottawa. So Dave Haxtall, uh, good luck to you. I mean, mm -hmm. coaching an expansion team. It's, uh, I, I, I mean, it's no easy task because Gerard Gallant did it. He was wonderful at it, and then they fired him. Well, now he's the coach of the Rangers, the biggest franchise in the world. Is that good? So, that's pretty cool. I also, think. firing your head coach seems to be a good way to win. Like, Pittsburgh huh. did it two times and won the Stanley Cup. Montreal did it this year and are in the Cup final. St. Louis did it uh, last year, right? Unless and you yeah, won. Uh, and when, they fired, when Mike Yeo was like, I'm going to get fired. And then two games later, they were like, you're right. And then they won. The <laughs> and then they it was won like, the it, it was, yo, the Mike Yeo, not enough was made nationally. I'm sure St. Louis fans remember, but that beginning of that season with Mike mm -hmm. Yeo was like bizarro world. I think he made it 10 games and he was, they like, were in last. We keep going like this. I'm, I'm just not going to have a job. And it's like, yeah. okay, man, you said it. <laughs> Dude, I just have to, I need to do a better job. It's like, okay, like, you know, when you could see someone ca careening uh, to a disaster? Yeah. Anyway, Craig Berube. And then Jordan Bennington joins, and all of a sudden, Craig Berube's a genius. Yeah. Is he a genius, or is he just a coach with a goalie? <laughs> Dean Evason, I mean, went from having Devin Dubnik to Cam Talbot. Coaching genius. <laughs> Coaching genius that he did that. <laughs> it's amazing that he was mad. You know what I mean? Not not to take anything away from him, but the old saying, you show me a good goalie, I'll show you a good coach. You show there me it is. Coach, I'll show um, you a good goalie. Yeah, so uh, for the Leafs, everybody wants Bruce Boudreaux. Can they do it? Will they do it? Sure, but then... Would that make you happy? Would that bring you back on board? Uh, it would make me happy, but then, you know, you're just going to get everyone screaming, which they already have. Marner, Marner's name, like, trends every day. Like, people it's are... Not, it, it, it does. Probably, we got, I know, no, I know it does. I'm just saying, oh, we gotta <sighs> fucking touch grass. Yeah, we gotta check. Yeah, we that's do. enough. That's enough. Yes, I agree. Uh, like, I wasn't happy with his performance either, but let's fucking chill. Here. Yes, oh, it's June 25th. Uh, Bruce Boudreau, a guy who uh, can't win a game seven, is what people are saying. And it's like, you know what? Let's do it together, Bruce. Let's, let's, let's double down. <laughs> let's double down. 
Like maybe it's one of those uh, like double negative things. Like uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's let's try to make it work, man. Let's uh, try to get two birds stoned at once or whatever the trailer bark boy is saying is. Come on, Bruce, come home. I just want a Leafs fan to be a coach with the Leafs. I like that idea too. He's I like Leafs that fan. idea too. Yeah, like you know what? This point, Leaf I, I think don't we have two years left in Austin Matthews' contract? No, please. It got to be three. Step on my face. I, I, hope think, it's I, two. I think it's I, three because he it signed it the year before Marner's. Uh, no, wait. Last year, did I'm looking. No, he's three. He's got three. Mm-hmm. He's got three, which is yeah good, three. but not great. 22, 23, 24. 20, okay. 2024, he'll be a UFA. This isn't Super. something to worry just, about. Just in time for everyone to get a raise again. Please step on my face. <laughs>